some bitch got you so Hey you, get your narrow ass on over here. So you're the one that's been putting those bad hombres down. I thought you'd be taller. You a registered voter? Ah, don't matter. I need help of a different sort. Let's get to the point. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? That's my loin fruit, Hurt Jr. Dumber than a coal bucket. He takes after his mama. Stupid some bitch went and lost my campaign truck, Nancy. So named after the greatest first lady to ever serve this fine country, of course. If them Obama-loving libtards find out I can't look after my own property, I can kiss this Senate run goodbye. Now, seeing as you're on my land, and I didn't kill you, even though it's well within my rights as a red-blooded American gun owner, I say you owe me. Help numbnuts get my truck back so I can start focusing on my campaign again. Junior! Someone's here to help you. Try not to fuck oh it up. Oh, God. I don't need to be here, do I? You ready for a gossip mag or what? Ah, oh, hey, man. I'm sorry. I don't want to go on assuming nobody's gender or nothing. I, I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. I just call all my homies. Dude or bro or man, you know, regardless of vegetalia or penile missness. Whoa, deja voodoo, man. Have, have we have we met before? Dang, man, my prayers have been answered. I got a direct line to that sweet little monkey god whose art hangs in heaven. Well, I guess since you're an angel working here on Earth for the Monkey King, that you already know I gotta get my daddy's truck back. I mean, he's real butt sore. But if we get it back, he'll let me sleep in my bed again. And I gotta tell you, man, it's getting real cold outside. Never mind them wood ticks crawling all up in my junk, threatening me with Lyme disease and whatnot. So come on, man. Help me get my daddy's truck back. Let's make dust before the old man starts shooting. He's hotter than a ghost pepper these days. Santa Run's been real stressful on him, man. He ain't cut out for that shit. You know how busy he is? Doesn't even have time to cut out for a shit. He once was a peacemaker, and he toiled in the sun. Shit, man, I've been praying on this all day, man. I've been asking the Monkey King, all the baby Jesuses, even the Bill Valentine's one, just to send me a sign, man, and they sent me you. I'll tell you something, though, man. Getting that truck, it ain't gonna be easy. Damn, Colt's got it, man. Well, I'll be honest with you, it all started when... When I tried to join them, I mean, I mean, it just seemed like a good idea. I mean, they had all these guns, food, fine-ass females, and I mean, those are three things I'm really all about. I mean, it seemed like one big party over there, you know? So I says, I said, hey, me, goes, where do I sign up? He said, sign up right here, friend. Then, <laughs> then, they start listing off all their dang rules, man. No fornicating. Turns out that means fucking. No, no alcohol and no wild out and partying, man. No thank you. So I got the fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck out of there, man. Unfortunately, though, I forgot my daddy's truck. He's been real butt sore since, so I gotta get that truck. But you don't gotta worry about a thing, man. I got a nine-step plan to get this truck back. Step one, catch a day buzz off party liquor. Got that one covered, homie. Step two, pray for someone else to solve my problem. Done. Step three is... Uh, shit. Shit, I forget the rest, but... They'll come to me as soon as, as, soon as we go. Dang, you are a good listener, Boba Fett. My old man doesn't listen at all. I guess that's why I never feel hurt. Me and him, we ain't getting along that well lately. Ever since he started running for office, he's been coming down on me real hard about everything. About my public intoxication, how I handle my firearms, stuff like that, man. But when we get his truck back from them Peggy's, he 
You're gonna be real impressed, dude. He's gonna love me so much, and then my mom's gonna have to try and love me more so she can compete with how much he loves me, and then he'll see how much she's loving me, and then he'll try and love me even more, and then birthdays and Christmases, they're gonna be off the chain. All right, man, this is the place. I'm still here. Okay, man, now it's time for step four. The truck's actually all the way down yonder. Probably more Peggy's waiting for us, too. It's all about the zip line, man. We gonna zip line in there, sneak up on them like ninjas. Fuck yeah, man! Oh, shit, cell phone, right? Fuck yeah, man. Some of my goodest old buds fighting for Jacob now. Brainwash him or something? Go. Okay, step five, let's move before more show up. Oh man, oh man, we got trouble. 
reach into that there. thinking while you were gone. This whole Senate run is too much for me to handle on my own. I'm in need of a campaign manager, and you're just the kind of go-getter I need to get my ass in office. First task I've got is to take Junior with you wherever you go, so I don't have to hear him praying to that goddamn monkey king no more. Second task is, uh, well... Uh, you let me think on it a bit. I'll get back to you. Well, oh, look here. It's my new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is they vote. Now. The eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone, because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around, because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know... If this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you're waiting for? Get moving! Kids been all over the world, but doesn't seem to have learned much.
cash except how to blow things up. <laughs> if he pitches any harebrained schemes involving monkeys, you'd do best to ignore him. Go for a stroll, cover me!
Watch me, I'm moving! 